A couple of days ago, Apple released its latest update to Logic Pro 10.8. It includes the new Beat Breaker, which is a great tool. I'm Zemodi and I checked it out for you. So here it is the new Beat Breaker plugin that comes with Logic Pro 10.8. The presets are pretty good and I encourage you to try them out, definitely. But I found it a bit difficult to customize them and to make your own presets. So I looked into that and uh, found out how to operate it and want to share that with you. But first, let's look at it and see what is what and what are the controls. And for that, I pulled up a preset here. It's called Make a Fill. Let's listen to a synth pad that I recorded. So it's basically just one chord. So with the preset, it sounds like this. So what you can see here is two axes, this one and this one, and these are divisions. So the whole thing runs over four beats. If I let it run, it looks like this. So you can see it runs along this axis here. This is the input and that is the output. So if it's just one line here, it's, it's running straight without any changes like this. So but here. I have a beat one, input beat is beat one, so the beat one of the original part. Here at my beat two, it's also input of the original part. So the the plugin picks from the original loop the first beat and puts it at the place of the second beat. If you want to change it, you can do this, for example. And also you can adjust the playback speed to adjust the pitch. So we have these divisions and in each of these divisions you can do stuff like in terms of time, playback speed and also a curve here. Repetitions, which is also really nice. You can see here in the example, it's like being played three times, which makes a nice choppy effect. Or volume, which is pretty nice, like, wait, there's a preset. Um, exactly. There's a preset, a, a preset called Sidechain, which does a thing like shaper box and plugins like that. But now let's make a patch from scratch. So I have my pad here. And maybe I want to make it more interesting and automize the volume at different spots here to give it some rhythm. I give it a slope. Curve it. It's a bit more interesting like that. Then repetitions are always interesting, I think, like this, for example. Okay, you don't hear it so well, maybe in the first part with more attack. Yes, it's better. Okay, you drag and pull the mouse to get the repetitions. And here you see how many repetitions you have. To make it even more interesting, uh, I want to play with the time and playback speed. So now, like if I double the, the playback speed in this spot, I get one octave higher, obviously. This works the second time, it's a bug, I guess. Uh, Apple will fix that, hopefully, at some point. Nice. And if I had a melodic pattern or something, I could even place bits from different parts of the pattern in different spots of my finished loop. Like at the fourth bar here, I could say input, the input beat is the first bar, which would look like this. So 
now let's uh, look at some examples how it sounds on different material like pads, chords, beat. What you can also do is you can change the size of the different fragments. They don't need to be the same size, all of them, if you don't want to. Or if you want the beat breaker to run faster or slower, you can tell it to either loop over one beat or a quarter of a beat even, or over eight beats up to 16 beats. Eight beats, so it runs slower. Here's some examples on a drum machine loop I recorded. Here you can see that the third division is only being played back with a 75%, so the kick drum is lower than in the original loop. And those repetitions are nice, but maybe I want some more than three repetitions, so let's dial it up a bit. Also, let's add some pitch sweep to the detuned kick drum from earlier. Also a nice feature is to mix it parallel. If you want to keep the original beat and want to have some kind of glitch effects, you can just mix in the beat breaker a little bit. This is Simodi. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and of course feel free to subscribe to my channel.